think this is going to be a bit of an anti climax after all the excitement of Sean's um, talk. But I just wanted to tell you a bit about the effect. I'm not used to speaking with a mic. About the effects um, on the family. I mean, as I said before, I was very proud of Sean because he did well at school. He went on to sixth form and university. He got a, an honours degree and he went off to America. Became a very successful stockbroker. And I thought that he had his life sorted. You know, we thought that's wonderful and we were so proud of him. We used to visit him every year and go in his swimming pool and think how great it was. And we had no idea um, that he had become involved in drugs. And I was sat at home one day with Sean's sister and we were watching Coronation Street, you know, having a cup of tea watching Coronation Street and the phone rang. And when I picked up the phone, it was uh, Sean's aunt, my husband's sister. And she said to me, uh, Sean's been arrested on serious drug charges. Well, can you imagine how I felt? You know, this son who'd been so successful, who I was so proud of. Can you imagine hearing that? It was like, I was, I was in a total, total state of shock. And I turned to Karen and I said to my, my daughter, and I said, Sean's been arrested on serious drug charges. And we, and we were both totally shocked. And then I was in such a state of shock that it didn't register. And I just carried on talking to Anne, um, his aunt, uh, Sean's aunt, as though nothing had happened. And I said to her, oh, how are your children? And how are you getting on? And it was unreal. Anyway, we put the phone down. And then I looked at Karen and we just both burst into tears. It was because it, 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 it just like a bolt out of the blue. So we thought, what are we going to do? You know what? Um, anyway, we waited for Sean's dad to come home. And we told him and he was really upset and distressed. And he rang the prison. And... Um, we found out that it was true that he had been arrested on these serious drugs charges. Now, if you commit a crime, you deserve to be punished. I'm not here to whinge about that. You know, if you get involved in drugs and you go down that path, you do it knowingly, and Sean did it knowingly, so you do deserve to be punished. And I want you all to think about that. If, you, if, you, if, if you're starting to think about taking drugs, or you know people who are taking drugs, Think about your parents, think about your, your family, your friends, and the effect that, that seeing, some, seeing that happen to somebody has. Um, I was so ashamed, I know I was thinking of myself, but I was so ashamed of Sean, I didn't tell anybody. And I had my husband and my uh, daughter sworn to secrecy. So I never even told my sister, I didn't tell anybody at work, and um, I was a teacher, I'm retired now, but I never told any of my colleagues at work, so I kept it all, and it, I taught psychology, so I should have known better really, shouldn't I, than keeping it all inside me. So I kept it all to myself, and I carried on pretending there was nothing wrong, but everybody at work knew there was something wrong with me, but they didn't know what, they never imagined what it would be, because... We're just an ordinary family, you know, just, an or just like anybody else, just an ordinary family. And you just don't think that something like that's going to happen to you. Prison and drugs, it's, it, it's somebody else's business, it's not ours. Um, anyway, one day at work, as Sean said before, I just freaked out. I saw, I, I used to teach ESOL as well, and I had some... Um, uh, that's English for speakers of other language and I had there were some students in the room and I just started running around the uh, running around the room screaming they all know they all know like a lunatic everyone thought I'd gone mad if you can imagine you running around the, running around the um, classroom shouting they all know they all know anyway I just broke down then um, it, it just all came out so I had to tell my boss and tell everybody what had gone on. And they said to me, oh, you know, how on earth did you keep all this to yourself? Um, anyway, I, I had a breakdown then, and I had to go to the doctors, and I'm starting to get upset now. <laughs> Excuse me.
excuse me. And um, I was on, I've been on and off antidepressants ever since. Um, because if you can imagine what it's like getting letters from your, your son. And you know when he told you before about how hot it was in Phoenix? Well, he'd sweat and he'd be writing the letters and the sweat would be dripping off him onto the paper. And when I'd get the letters, the paper was, you know, crinkly, as though it'd been wet, you know, where he'd been sweating. So he was writing home, telling us all these awful things. But he wasn't telling us everything, he was only telling us part of it. You know, I only found out the, 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 the worst things after. And there's nothing you can do, so it's really frustrating for a parent, because you, you've no control, so there's nothing you can do. But anyway, we did everything we could do, with him being so far away. We visited him every year, and we paid for a, we Fortunately, we were in a position to pay for a, a, a lawyer for him, a good lawyer. Because in America, if you haven't got a good lawyer, you're looking at, well, I don't think you ever get out. So, um, and, and, and it was very difficult going to visit him because when I'd be sat on the plane and I'd have flashbacks to visiting him when he was, <laughs> when he was in this lovely house. But, you know, visit him when he was in this lovely house and he had everything. And there I was going to visit him um, in, in, in this terrible prison, in these terrible conditions where he could be raped attacked, murdered, it's any time. But anyway, we survived. So it's, it's, it's got a happy ending, hasn't it, the story, really? Because he got out of prison and he used his time in prison to write and to read and to improve himself. And he did survive because he has a strong character and he did survive it all. And um, since he's come home, I said I was... I was very ashamed, and that's why I didn't tell anybody. I was so ashamed of him. But I'm very proud of him now because he's doing these talks. And if he can, and if, the, and if, if, if his talk can affect you in any way and stops you when you see your friends or somebody trying to give you drugs, if you, if you can remember Sean and say no, well, I'm very proud of him for that. It's all been worth it. Thank you for listening.